I think Tao is, is safer with me, you know. Is, <laughs> <laughs> but I, I think the first thing is, is to, um, someone said, if you find yourself in a hole, you know, the first thing you stop doing is um, you stop digging. Hmm. You know, if you don't stop digging, um, you probably will um, keep, uh, keep going down. And the fact that you stop digging doesn't mean you are out of the hole. Mm -hmm. So you still have to find either rumbles, um, whether you have to still chop from the, from, the, from the hole to get yourself to that zero level before growth or development or whatever you call it, before you start seeing the signs. And we seem to forget where we are coming from. We, never, we seem to forget how, how bad it was or how bad it could have been if we had continued in that trajectory that we were before this administration coming. So those are the issues we need to, we basically need to deal with. And um, Digiman mentioned certain issues. Why things are very bad, you know, why they are bad. We also uh, know that government should have responded. You know, this administration should have responded differently. Why reforms are very necessary, you know, we can't escape reforms now. Uh, our options uh, for reforms are almost turning to zero. They are the direction that we should go. But those reforms should also have been um, implemented with some level of consideration for the current situation yes. of organized businesses and the current situation of Nigerians. You know, as he said, you can't, um, I'm dying and you, are, you promised me oxygen. Mm -hmm. So just get me the oxygen. You know, don't bring the oxygen when I'm, when I'm gone. Yeah. Because you bring the oxygen when I'm gone, it becomes problematic. So for us, and why I say Taiwan is, is safer with us, because so many issues that we have raised, you know, we can see definitive action. We can see um, a system that is maybe slow in responding, but is taking conscious definitive steps. You know, we've had engagement on regulatory issues, um, regulatory inconsistencies, sometimes uh, regulators' roles overlapping. You know, this regulator will say, this is my role. I've given you the certificate to do this. Another regulator will come and say, look, that's, that certification is not, doesn't apply to us. And that leaves the business in the middle. So those issues, we have raised it. I want to commend Pebec for the work Pebec is doing. And Taiwo seems to be our go-to person. Once there is crisis, we, you know, it's just, is his, his phone that, that, that start buzzing first. That, look, these are issues that I also need to look for. Us. So for us, let us deal with the inherent contradictions. If we don't deal with the contradictions inherently, then we are just, uh, we are just going rigmarole. You know, you have one agency of government promoting job creation, and you have another agency also creating bottlenecks to job creation. So you have one agency of government promoting trade. You have another agency of government creating bottlenecks for, to trade. So if we don't deal with those inherent contradictions, then we'll probably be going um, in, in a rigmarole. And then we have also have to deal with institutions. You know, um, we've had serious issues with um, certain regulators that we, we can't but keep, keep calling out. You know? And it's not because those regulation is burdensome. But in the context of the implementation of those regulations, you realize that people create, either consciously or unconsciously, they create bottlenecks and they create distortions for organized business. So has it been rosy? Absolutely not. Uh, we are like, um, when you lose a business, you know, for ma many individuals, and sometimes they've cannibalized organized private sector that, okay, you are, deep, you are focused on profit. But when a business closes down, you know, we forget that maybe 100, maybe 150 individuals will lose their job. You forget that we have incapacitated the ability of a father to pay school fees. We have incapacitated the ability of a school proprietor to generate income. Mm -hmm. We have incapacitated the ability of the, uh, the yam seller or the rice seller that the proprietor is patronizing mm -hmm. to sell. We have also incapacitated the ability of the woman selling the yam to sell because there's distortion in cash flow. So it goes beyond a business losing or closing shop or a business reducing its capacity utilization. It goes far, far beyond. And until we start seeing it, the consequences of all this action of a manufacturing business closing down 
of a service business closing down until we start tracking what exactly are the real consequences mm. of somebody losing his job or a business closing down that will still be caught up with the Nigeria have we have big potential. We should be <laughs> caught up with the theoretical aspect of it. Yeah. And these things are not rocket science. Yeah. All right, I, said, I, I, they are basic things, low-hanging fruits that the fruits are already on the floor. On we the just floor, have to pick yeah. them up and just <laughs>